All right, it's Casey Cameron, boy, here. That's it. Stop. Man, we should work for you guys. Oh, we got the new officer. That's right. Oh, hey, what's up, man? What's up, my man? We just got a ticket, so we're making it hard for you guys to work today. Oh, hey, kids. Can you stay out of the street, guys? It's not safe. Damn, that guy's a rookie straight up. Sorry, guy. I mean, just uh, just saying. Just saying. Sure is, he, first day somewhere, right? is he the guy that, that has two times married something? Like the two misdemeanors, because I heard on the radio. My man, I'm listening to you guys. What's up with this unit here? Other, other than that ticket, how's your day going? Yeah. Good. Yeah. We're already planning how we're gonna pay the ticket. Pennies. <laughs> with views. With views. Oh, let me tell you, man, that ticket, that that beta right now is like an hour long. What's that? That beta is like an hour long. It's like 30 minutes. I wait for two. I, I've been telling I've been telling your the officers here if you guys want to work with me, man, I get you guys a job. Like trust me, you wouldn't even want to be a cop of your dad. Your camera. Yeah. Is that the same one you showed us on the yeah. train accident? Yeah. The same one. Still working. Holds up real well. Yep. How long have you had that now? Two months. Two months. Around it. Now since you I never, saw like, it. dropped it or like had I dropped it once and still works. works. I was running after a cop, and then yeah. I've been yeah. It's uh, LA. LA. Yeah. Yeah. So I dropped it and I had to come back and get it again. Yeah, so. I actually been running, man. So in case I have to do a full pursuit behind you guys, so I, I, stay I in shape. Kid, I'll be like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, I ain't yeah. know that guy though. I was a homie back in high school. Yeah. Damn. Did you go to shit? Yeah, yeah, I went to shelter high. I don't want to say it. I don't know. If no, no, you good, man. You good. My, my, my trolls actually look. This is how, how, how it works. We have a troll that whenever we go live. And let's say I'm right there at a place filming that place and I go live, they assault me and I go live. That troll is gonna call that place and tell them my information. The what it's is? My information, like my name and stuff like that. You say troll? Yeah. What, what's that, what does that mean? Like someone that trolls you, like, like puts you in blast. Oh, okay. There's a channel going around that puts our information, like my address, my name, uh, who I'm related to, and they think that because they're gonna do that, we're gonna stop. Like, who do, who's got that kind of time to do that? There's someone, we don't know yet. I got I got the IP address last time from that computer, but they, he switched it. He's a hacker, so yeah. wasn't I track it down to Australia, but I know he's in the United States. Yeah. I, I've been a hacker too. I got my little class. So anytime you guys want something hacked, let me know. That's above my pay grade, man. I do it for free, man. Man, you're talking to Casey Camera boy here. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So like as I said, I'm filming that place, then I go live. So he calls that place and tell him, oh, this is a bad, and then. Uh, he lives in Shafter, blah blah blah, and then the people from Inta come. Hey, what's up? Is this your name? And blah blah. You're from here. I'm like, yeah, I'm from there. Like, and I'm live, and I don't care. That's good, man. It's that thug life, you know. Hey, but what's your name? Are you the Mark something? No, I like you. Okay, okay, yeah. Cause I saw when you went to the uh, old thing. Oh, the ceremony over here. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. You look good, man. I mean, no homo though, but I mean, it's cool that you become <laughs> no, a cop. Good. Thanks, thanks. I, mean, I don't hate you guys. Forgot you guys do. Unless you guys go about the law and start messing with people, that's different. But if you guys are taking out criminals off the street... No, no, nobody likes a dirty cop. You know, if you guys are taking out criminals off the street, a drug dealer, man, then go for it. I even... I'm like that, you know. I'm not a cop sucker, but you know, I want my community to be safe. Yeah. That's all people want, right? Yeah. Try and trip. Yeah. yeah. Don't think that because I record you guys, I'm against you guys or anything. Man. That's, not, that's not my thing here, then. Crossing across the street, I guess. But yeah, so. many people, many cops see it that way. They like, oh, like you're against us, you're against the government. Not really. I'm against the bad people. That's different. You can be against the government because you're never gonna win. That's how it works. Man. Oh, that's how I see it. Everyone's different. It's a great thing. Everybody can have an opinion, right? Yeah. Not everybody likes everybody's opinion. So, so, how, so <laughs> right? <laughs> you but So, how you liking it so far? How you like the department? Good, man. It's a really it's good. good. Department here. Have you worked at, at another department before? Uh, I was with the sheriff's office before. Why well, we got we had a sheriff last time. The one I met, he was from the sheriff as well, huh? We got a few that come over. Yeah, here. we got we, we had one. Yeah. Well, that's good, man. So it's a better, it's a more traffic or less. Um, as far I was in a street cop uh, over in the sheriff's office. I was just like, oh. so I I don't know as far as the difference between the working. 
Is a sheriff? How you see? It? Is a sheriff more dangerous than a city cop? Uh, I would be. I wouldn't say I want to give a fair opinion because I. I would. Cause again, I wasn't a street cop, but the sheriff's office this is my first time just being out in the streets. Yeah, because I mean, I, sometimes I seen sheriff or in the middle of nowhere, pulling over someone like someone with like three people in a car. So I'm like, damn! Imagine those three guys are like actual mean guys, and they start trying to beat up on you and stuff. So that's that's why I see the sheriff like probably more risky to me. Yeah, I'll say I, I wouldn't like to be the only guy on there. Me neither. In the middle of Lord knows where. Me neither. Yeah. 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 Have no backup coming anytime. Yeah. Soon. I mean, people are fast too. I mean, I'm assuming you guys are fast. Hey, do you guys go to the shooting range here in Shafter to practice? Yeah, the one down there. I've been wanting to go there too. Shelter. To go with my friends. Can I go there? The our shooting range? Yeah. No, that's that's our. Oh, so that's just that's, for you guys? That's just law enforcement. Yeah. Oh, just law enforcement. Yeah, it's not like uh, like what is it like five dogs or whatever? Yeah. Where you can like sign up and go shoot and all that stuff. That, yeah, that's specifically oh. for for training. Oh, okay. I was thinking that. I was like, man, so I want to. making me nervous, man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it makes me nervous too. I mean. Mm -hmm. Well, when we pulled up, she's standing with her back to us, watching what's going on in here, and I'm like, yeah. see people, you know. I'm sure you see any driving around all over the place, people on their phones not paying yeah. attention. Yeah. Yeah, not, not because you're here, people are not going to be aware, man. They could just drive by. Oh, well, yeah, people are going to pay more attention to the car, not the, not the little, little kid girl running across. Yeah. Man, that's cool, though. I haven't seen it in a while, man. I haven't seen it in a while. I was on nights. <laughs> oh, you're on nights? Yeah. I wouldn't even work nights for YouTube. Yeah. I, well, I saw you at the, the train accident. That was the first time I've seen you in a long yeah. time, too. Yeah. But I was on nights then, so. I rarely go out on nights. Yeah, so. Yeah. Me out too. But yeah. So how many I, hours do you think you work like driving all around, going to and from places? Well for example yesterday I went to LA all day from like I woke up like at six in the morning, then I came back here like uh four in the morning. The whole day. So like Twenty two hours? Kind of. Ah. Just doing videos. Yeah. And I pretty much just went for like three videos. How long does it take? Do you like edit the videos, like like cut them down, make them shorter? Well a four minute video took me like two hours to edit it because I had to like listen to it over and over because if he has a bad word I have to mute it oh, so okay. I mute every bad word like I try not to cuss even though I don't like, I don't like cussing at cops I mean that's you don't make yourself look professional like that. You, know, you can be passive aggressive you know but that's different from cursing cursing them out so and sometimes I'm with partners that they cut cuss them out so like I try to mute it and so I have to go back to every single bad word and blah blah so takes a while and then sometimes like for example in this video I had to go through the whole video to see if I got their faces so I can blur them because I don't like posting minors well, that's good yeah. yeah also I mean I'm sure parents would appreciate that yeah I mean I try to have a uh, like for example I think this call was related to the one over there right if I'm not mistaken no this this is completely separate from this is I, completely separate one as far as I know because yeah. oh, there was one right now with mr. Romero and then um, it was the children, and it was like more like a family thing. So I told them, let's take off. You know, because that's not my thing. Yeah. It's family thing, you know, they're probably like witnesses or victims of a crime. So I don't like posting them. Yeah. That's, that's like last time, too, there was like a domestic violence here in um, the trailers right there in front of Fiesta Latina. Yeah. So um, Mr. Escalera was about to take the pictures of the woman that got beat up or something. Yeah. So like I stepped away from it because she. I don't think she has rights to privacy in public, but I give him that right. Well, yeah, public, cool. yeah, but then, I mean, she also has a victim of domestic violence has rights. Oh. So, as far as like her standing in public for us to take the photos, yeah. and obviously, you know, you standing there. Yeah, and see, probably, I wouldn't like to do that. I wouldn't I, like yeah. to be a victim and have someone taking pictures of me too. Uh, you have compassion. Even though that's your right, but you have to know when you exercise your rights in the right way. That's it's why compassion. I'm compassion. That's good. Yeah. That's why my channel is there. You know, I don't get much of views. I don't get much of subscribers because of the same thing. They say, oh, why well, you back away? Or, or why well, you blurred their faces? Like last time some kids, um, I went to a tall company, tall trucking company, and the, guy, the kids tried to beat me up. I blurred their faces. Yeah. But I mean, they're kids, you know? They don't think the same as, uh, as an adult. So they're like, oh, well, they were trying to attack you. Why wouldn't you post their faces so people can know who they are? But I'm like, that's not my thing. Yeah. And those skates are tripping me. Yeah. But yeah. So, hey, is that a body camera? No, man, that's a little light. 
Oh, I was like, damn, that's cool. I need me one of those little ones. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, yeah, well, well blinding cameras, yeah, I'm sure it's just a matter of time before. The, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you were aware, aware of it, that I had a meeting with the Chief Zimmerman twice. Yeah, we had a couple meetings with him. I went to his office and we talked about it. It's interesting. Yeah. And that was part of it. I mean, I talked about it with the with the mayor. Just the... Uh, with the mayor. you wear a camera or that we wear a camera? You guys wear a camera. And yeah, but... I mean, you have to know that you got to get the space to save the footage. I know that's the biggest headache. You have to get like the, the person. The hurdle yeah. is having enough space to space. store. You have to get the person, too, who's going to be pulling out those files and putting them in, like, files or whatever. I don't know how it works. Too. Then, obviously, you know, how long do you keep all the files? Yeah. How do you determine which files to keep for six months, six years, ten years, yeah. forever? Yeah. It's, for your department, it's five years. Yeah. That's a red. I, mean, I know you guys policy like. No, but I mean, is that every single file of every single contact? Every single one. And after, be, after five years, you can't just get. I'm sure there's got to be some. You can dispose of them. I think so. Sure. Can't. Not the case after five years, through. they're they're done. But if the case hasn't gone through the courts yet, then you got to save it. Yeah. Because it's still empty. Once that case closes, you have five years from that point on. Oh, from the date of the yeah. adjudication. Yeah. Okay. So, for example, there's a case right now and it closes in 2027. After 2027, you have until 2032 to get rid of those files. So. Same with the, I don't know about the 1421 thing. I don't know if you want to get attention to that. I don't want to detour you from your duty there. But yeah, so that's pretty much how it works. So it's cool. Yeah. So you guys partners are working together? He's from LA actually. He came you have to your own channel? Yeah, I'm on channel. Okay. Yeah. I would ignore you, but I, I know him, but... Yeah, this is my first time here. It's his first time and he first time got a ticket the first time coming here. Well, I'll be I, with Penny, so I told him. I told him. You, when you come to Kern County, you either stay in prison or you go you go back to your county with the probation. <laughs> uh, so he went back with the with the ticket. <laughs> so, but I mean, when you do wrong, you do wrong. That's a that's why I see that. personally. If I messed up and I had to be held accountable. Well, if you sit and watch a stop sign long enough, you'll be surprised how many people actually don't truly come to a complete stop or the ones that do if they come to a stop before they enter the crosswalk or past that limit so it has to be before the line so yeah you know i don't think there's a line on this street uh, let's say this is the line you have to stop right right here you have to stop so if you're going this direction ah. this is the 12 inch what they call a limit line okay you have to stop before crossing that line oh. so your tires are back here but obviously your bumper is an extra you know yeah foot two maybe three feet depending on you know if you have a big old caddy or whatever but before your vehicle's enters because you have to picture that's where somebody would use it as like there's not a marked crosswalk and that's where okay. pedestrians are supposed to cross unlike yeah. these, so you have to be these youngsters so yeah you want to stop before that line and then you have to come to a complete stop some people who come and then go because they feel like they stopped if you watch the tires i mean you really nitpicking but if you watch the tires it's still still moving that's not a stop that's stop not a stop stop it had to roll back as well huh? no you just have to stop stop yeah. oh but i mean if you're like looking for like what you feel you'll feel the car stop Okay. Load back a little, and then you'll go. I have a question. I always wondered. Like last time, I was at a, in my truck, and uh, there was a truck, a rip big rig behind me, in front of me actually, and he threw a rock and he chipped my windshield. That'd how does a. how does that work? If you get his, all his license plate information, you get him to pull over. If he's the one that kicked up the rock, it could be considered a not non-contact traffic collision. But then you go through your insurance, and depending on how your insurance is, and obviously all insurance is. Yeah, I was wondering that. Your rates might go up just because you use your insurance. Yeah. Is that worth just paying the? Some places will fix a little, fix a little rock chip. Yeah, they'll. Have a good day, man. Yeah, yeah. that already happened. I mean, I got a ticket for that for a cracked windshield. Well, Hazy's not here no more, but they brought Martinez back <laughs> from Tab. Well, I say the. Uh, I know people like crack it like last jokes. You know, a cracked windshield not that big of a deal. One of our sergeants that used to work for us, he worked for a different agency. He gave a guy a ticket for a cracked windshield. The guy's just irate, screaming and yelling at him. The guy came back the next day because he's down in the L.A. area on the freeway. His windshield caved in on him. He came in to apologize to that officer. Wow. So that was a lesson learned from him. Yeah. I had no idea a cracked windshield could cave in on you like that. but cool. I don't know Damn. if that's what caused it, but that's the guy crazy. felt compelled to come back and apologize for being so, a... That's his what. guts to do that. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna do a Jake walk, okay? <laughs> See you on the next one. I, I remember guess, right? you educate me on that one. They were supposed yeah. to be like, okay, how about the alley it? though? How about the alley? That that counts like as a- In an alley? Yeah. Well, alley's technically part of the roadway, but I mean, you're walking in the alley, just stay off to the side, you'll be Yeah, okay. it has to be straight. 
Because I remember yeah. I have you in video that went like that too. Got some in his hair. Yeah, so, so I remember that. Camera. You got a leaf in your hair. You oh look my good, god! Man. All right, man. Hey, have a good one, man. Stay safe. Oh my god! <laughs> you boy. All right, man. Right. Welcome to Shaft Oh my god! All right, Casey Campbell here.